breaking news alert. I want to get back to that breaking news. The wreckage of a missing helicopter headed to Knoxville was found in South Central Kentucky today. The pilot David Stone took taking off from St. Louis, but had to stop for fuel in Kentucky first. He did not make it there alive. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Kelly and I'm Alex Dennis Cruz just found the wreckage in the last couple of hours near the entrance of the Mammoth Cave National Park. Tori Gessner joins us in studio after talking with Cruz who found the wreckage Tori. Alex Mark David Stone was picking up a helicopter his friend just bought in St. Louis. People who met him there say they did everything they could to stop him from taking off because of the bad weather he did anyway. Many crews, including pilots themselves, helped with a search that would end after a tragic discovery. A rainy Saturday morning, David Stone's friends say it was the perfect storm for an accident in the air. After taking off from St. Louis, the former Army pilot and retired airline pilot called his wife near Sparta, Illinois. That was the last time anyone heard from Stone. He was set to fly to Knoxville with a refueling stop in Kentucky first, but he never made it there. The flying community kind of got word that, you know, there was a pilot overdue for Glasgow Airport, you know, yesterday or Saturday evening. Glasgow pilot Calvin Wiley was just one of many aviation enthusiasts who helped with the search from the ground and the sky. By Monday, a full fledged quest to find Stone, starting where his iPad last pinged near the Warren Edmondson County line in Kentucky. From the air, you know, this is, you know, late summer, everything is so thick. Uh, this is a small, dark colored helicopter. Um, you know, it's really, unless it's out in an open field or something, from the air, it's going to be extremely difficult to see and the, you know, the full foliage over here around Mammoth Cave. Crews on the ground followed leads from eyewitnesses, including deer hunters in Ohio County, who say they saw Stone's blue jet exec flying low around 440 Saturday evening, headed towards Glasgow. The weather was pretty poor too at that time in the area. You know, we had low, a low ceiling and rain moving through in different spots. One tip would ultimately lead crews to the wreckage Monday afternoon. We're still working to confirm where exactly that wreckage was found. Barron County Emergency Management's director says Stone's family has been notified of his death. That's all the information he would release. Mark.